Alrighty, hello from Franconia Notch, New Hampshire in peak foliage season. Uh, we actually have a new addition to the channel. This is a 2017 Audi A4 Premium Plus. Uh, picked this up yesterday from Audi Brookline. Great experience there. It is a, a Herb Chambers dealership. I've yet to peel all the tags off. That'll come eventually. Um, but yes, Audi Brookline, I saw this online. Um, I've been having some trouble with the Accord. Um, I've been chasing a front suspension issue for the past year. Um, it needed a starter. Uh, there's actually a TSB out for those. Um, I had my mechanic perform the TSB. Uh, it was like rotate the torque converter bolts, new starter. Um, I wasn't missing, missing any teeth in the, in the, um, in the flywheel or anything like that, um, but it's still that still didn't fix the problem. Um, so six hundred dollars later, that wasn't fixed. Um, I had a new battery put in it as well because um, the car was eating batteries. I had two warranted early on in my ownership, um, but I was I put I had put my fourth battery in it in four years, um, and that was just ridiculous. Seeing as though a battery should last about four years in one, so yes, we uh, we ended up with the. A4 here. Um, I mainly cross shopped this with the S60 Momentum from Volvo um, T6, but I didn't really want to lease anything. The Volvo was only really that attractive as a lease, um, only because I could not find anything. Um, I really liked on the used market. Um, used inventory was kind of scarce here um even more so uh, not even more so but same deal with the a4 um i wasn't totally sold on the a4 but i saw this online i really liked the moonlight blue i believe it's called um it is a special color um i think it's a 700 dollars option give or take uh, but yes i saw this online went drove it fell in love with it um and the rest is history See, our front does have the LED headlights up front. This is gonna be more of just an introduction video. Um, you can see that brown interior. We'll get to, to that in a sec. 18 inch wheels, standard on the premium plus and prestige trims. Um, this is technically a mid trim A4, but um, it has the tech and the entertainment packages or, or whichever. Um, I know there's the standard premium plus and then you can get the tech package on top of the premium plus. This has it that'll give you like the virtual cockpit navigation, um, 3D Bang & Olufsen, stuff like that. Um, so enough of the exterior. We'll hop inside real quick. Let's see that I am in the middle of a road trip so you'll have to excuse the mess, but um, this is the brown leather interior. I forget the name of it. I want to say it, start, it starts with an N, like Naga something. In, I don't know. But coming in, you can see I still have my tassel from the Accord um, that's in there temporarily. Um, but foot on the brake. Let's see, 29,000. 700 miles on this. Um, I've put 302.2 miles on it. Um, so that equates to, oh, I don't know, 294. I think it was like 29407 when I signed the paperwork. Um, but yeah, definitely happy with it so far. Um, what really made me choose this over the S60 besides inventory um, was kind of this interior. I think the A4 is very classy looking on the outside um, without being too in your face or too flashy. Uh, classy without being flashy, as I like to call it. Um, but like I said, this interior is what really sold me. Um, I really like the uh, gray wood inlays here. Um, this is like a $400 option. Um, love the brown leather, as I said. Um, I think it goes really well with the blue. Um, and obviously this has virtual cockpit, which you kind of have to get in my opinion. Um, but to each their own, you can see that uh, there's all sorts of little different menus here, but I'll give you guys just a quick, there you go. Uh, same thing with the this entertainment system. I ended up liking a lot more than the Volvo. 
Um, like I said, the S60 was a great car, but that I'm not really a touchscreen person. Um, I like these hard buttons. I think this is in the perfect spot. Um, and the S60's entertainment just wasn't... I, I couldn't get used to it, uh, no matter how much I played with it. So, like I said, this had a little bit of a learning curve as well, uh, but it's become pretty easy um, to use. Okay, don't need that. I'm just trying to get you guys to the map. Let me see. There we go. So there's that. Seven speed DSG, obviously. It does have the manual mode and it does have paddles on the wheel as well. See the backup camera there. And push for park. Different drive modes over here. If you excuse the coffee cup, you can see that there is individual. If I switch this back. There we go. So you'll see we're in individual. You can also put it in um, dynamic, which is a lot of fun. If this wants to focus. Dynamic, auto, comfort, and um, individual. So that's all really nice. I've been leaving it in comfort for the road trip here. Um, frameless rearview mirror, auto dimming, sunroof. Basically everything I required. Heated seats, heated wheel. Um, this has the cold weather pack on top of um, everything else. So it's pretty much a fully loaded premium plus. Um, it's just missing the 19s, um, but I like these wheels better anyways. Um, and yeah, that's about going to wrap it up for the little A4 introduction. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And let me see what type of videos you want to see with this car. Thanks for watching.